That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. And we will leave you with a... I can't do it. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I can, I'll write it, and we'll do it live! And thing sucks! Yes, sir. I am back again. But this time we're doing it live with the LOM community. Lots of stuff to talk about. This is just a small conversation because I am hemmed up. Hemmed up. Yes, sir. I am hemmed up over here at the Loves. Got a messed up tire, y'all. I, I could have drove on it all day. I think I probably did drove on it all day, but but you got to do your pre-trip and your post-trip, and that's how you find out about things. Unfortunately, I'm over here at the uh, Love's Garage, and I am um, I had to wait a couple of hours. At least he said that it was going to be a couple of hours. Anyway, so. What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? You just uh, sit here and play some poker or just uh, sit here and watch some TV or you just uh, just do like I do. Jump on um, jump on a live feed and uh, do a podcast. You know what I'm saying? Do a podcast. We're doing it big. So what's going on, LOM community? I see, I, I see y'all up in here. I see y'all. Um, I just got finished doing uh doing an interview with uh Shaira. It was a pretty good interview. Shout out to my man uh D Nitty for uh for uh bringing that out. Teddy Pender, what's good? What's good? What's going on, bro? If you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for all the goodness that is Lockout Men Podcast. I am your humble host, Lockout Men, and welcome to the Lockout Men Podcast show. The train is still moving, but I'm just here just chilling out with you guys just to see, you know, just to see what's going on. I, I had another interview lined up but um unfortunately she's stuck at the shipper and she's not able to uh you know not able to come on so i was like fuck it what i'm what i'm gonna do man what i'm gonna do maybe i could just do a quick podcast right quick and um and chop it up you know tell you guys what's on my mind you know what i'm saying so who's all up in here, man? Holler at your boy. If you want to support the channel and support me, definitely you can hit me up with the cash app. It's a uh, dollar sign lockout man. Or you can hit me up with the coffee app and give me some coffee, man. Give me some coffee. I had a couple of people hit me up in my email. They uh, want me to holler at uh, holler at some of these companies. And I sent out invites to them so that they can come on and uh, chop it up with me and let me know what their company is about, you know. I'm trying to, I guess I'm trying to do it on an up and up, you know, send them an invite, see if they want to come on, share their, you know, share their information instead of me just calling and, and you know, do like, you know, do I, do, do my one-two, bombard them with, con uh, with, con uh, with questions. I might still do that, though. I mean, if they don't answer. If they don't respond, then I might have to might have to go to might have to go to Gorilla Way. You know what I'm saying? Go go Gorilla Way because you guys still want me to call these companies. And it's not about putting these companies on blast. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It never was, you know. Uh it is just giving you guys the opportunity to hear what they got to say about said company that's all hold on right quick uh let me see if i can oh, turn that turn that like that yeah 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Looking good in the neighborhood. All right. So, uh, so let's start off with uh, Jam Master J, man. Jam Master J. I got um. Hold on, right quick. Let me, let me see if I can bring it up going to the history because I know I I know I had it yeah here it is here it is uh 20 years ago I I'm 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 a fan of hip hop I'm I'm a fan of old school hip hop I you know I I've been a fan of Run DMC since the beginning all the way up until the until that crappy Crown Royal album that they made, but I'm still a fan of of all of their old school stuff. Um, their new school stuff that the the Down with the King album was pretty cool, you know, when they had multiple producers producing their tracks. But um, the uh, the the last one, the Crown Royal, I think. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And then I think uh, Run, you know, af after Jam Master Day, Jay died, you know, Run uh, went and became a reality star with Run's house, and then uh, DMC he did uh, he did something with uh, with TMC to look for his father. And then he, you know, he does rock music now, I guess. You know what I'm saying? But the passing of Jam Master J, his his murder hasn't been solved. And they just they 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 just they just caught somebody. They caught two people. Check it out. Nearly 20 years after his murder, two Gotta start over again. I got him pleaded not there guilty. Jam Master Jay, whose real name was Jason Mizell, was the DJ and a founding member of the iconic hip hop group Run DMC, who were from Queens, New York. Run DMC was the first rap group ever to earn a gold record, have their video played on MTV, and be nominated for a Grammy. Jay was gunned down in his own recording studio in Queens on October 30th, 2002. Officials say Washington and Jordan burst into the studio. Washington allegedly waved a gun ordering others to get on the floor, mm -hmm. while Jordan shot Jam Master Jay in the head and killed him. Mm -hmm. Authorities say the killing was drug related and that Jay may have cut one of the suspects out of a deal. Jam Master Jay was 37 years old and left behind a wife and three kids. In a statement, Jay's family said they have mixed emotions. Man, it's crazy. It's crazy how um how that is, man. Drugs, man. They, they they say drugs played a part. From what I heard, I, I heard it was a robbery. That's what I heard. I heard it was a robbery, man. Uh David Garcia, what's up, bro? Do you think Trump is going to repeat or will someone dethrone him? <sighs> I don't know, man. I mean, unfortunately, I don't talk. I, I don't talk politics. Um, I, I I just don't. But I don't know. You know, I. Now I'm not talking. I'm not talking from a politic standpoint. I'm talking from a from a fan standpoint because back in the day, I I was a fan of Trump. I really was, to be honest with you. I, I was a fan of 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 Donald Trump. Uh he before he became a reality star, he was, you know, he was in businesses, uh Trump Plaza, Trump Casino, uh you know, Trump is just, you know, when you say Trump, it's it's all about money. You know what I'm saying? Trump card, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But my my feelings for him has definitely changed when he became president. Um, 
not a fan of of his presidency. Um, I I just feel that since he became president, he is now synonymous with uh with racism, and I never I never saw him being synonymous with racism back in the day, you know, because back in the day he hung out with a whole bunch of, you know, he minorities and stuff like that. But now, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, now it's just, it's just, it's, it is what it is. Is, is he going to get the de- dethroned? Maybe my, what I, what I will tell you guys, get out and vote, man. Get out and vote. You know, that that's all I can tell you. You know, a lot of people, a, a lot of people, a lot of black people just don't get out and vote. They don't. In all honesty, they don't. But they're the same people, you know, black and white all together. It's the same people that uh that complains about what is what is going on or what's not going on you know get out and vote that's what i would say you know obviously he got in you guys didn't like hillary clinton you know y'all nobody nobody didn't go out to to vote you know if if enough people got out to vote then hillary clinton would have been in 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 office but a lot of people didn't like her because for whatever reason. And then Trump got in. You know, he didn't even he, he, when he was when he ran for president, he ran as an independent. He didn't run for Democrat or Republican. He ran he ran as an independent. But then all the Republicans got behind him. They started pulling pulling money towards him. And now what? You know, everybody, everybody was saying, look at, look at me. Look, look, y'all, y'all got me on my soapbox now. Um, look. <laughs> y'all, y'all got me on my soapbox, man. I told y'all I wasn't gonna be talking no damn politics, man. Chicago BBW, Trump, <laughs> Trump to since. Trump too sensitive. He let everything gets under his skin. And Teddy Pender says voting will make a difference. It will. Voting will make a difference. The same people that don't, the same people that don't, that don't vote are the same people that's complaining about the shit. Oh, well, he's not doing this. And he's not doing you. You didn't vote. It's, it's see what you stuck with. You know? And, and yeah, Chicago BBW, you write about that too. He does let a lot of shit get up under his skin. He was like that for years. But everybody was like, yo, the president needs to run the world like a business. Well, let's look at his business. I mean, just about, just the man went bankrupt like a gazillion times. I mean, think about it. I mean, is he run? Do he have? Do he have any established businesses now, since he been president? Except for Trump Tower in in New York, you know. But do we have? Have he had any established established businesses? You know, I'm just saying. Well, let me get back, man. I I feel. Uh, what happened to Jam Master J was tragic. Um, I I definitely felt some kind of way about that. Um, I thought it was a murder. Uh, you know, I thought somebody came in there and robbed him, and all like that. And uh, but they they said it was a drug deal that gone wrong. So I I don't know how I feel about that, man. I don't know how I feel about that. That's one of my icons. You know what I'm saying? Jam Master J. He he can't possibly be affiliate, affiliated with drugs, man. 
20 years later to come back and say, oh, it was a drug deal that went bad. No. No, the dude got, it was a robbery that went bad from what I heard, from from what I heard and what I grew up, grown up with. Shit, I'm 50 years old. The man died was, the man died when I was in my 30s. And I was still a fan then. You know? That shit crazy. If you guys wanna, if you guys wanna call in right quick, chop it up with me. Um, I got time. I'm sitting here waiting, wasting, wasting time. Didn't want to waste my clock. I got two hours. If they can come out here, knock this shit out within two hours, I'm good to go. I'm able to get to my, to my place on time tomorrow. If not. It's just gonna add, it's gonna mess me up. Some some fears. Uh phone number 216-600-2090. Call your boy up and uh holler at me. Say what's up. Say hi. Let me know how you doing. Why you at it? Give me some coffee. Um shout out to um uh forgot the guy's name, but shout out to you, bro, for sending me that coffee. Um if you definitely want to, uh, you you definitely going to get that call, brother. Whether whether they whether they call me or not, I'm definitely going to get that call in because see that's what I'm going to do for you guys. Y'all put me to work, you know what I'm saying? Y'all give me a suggestion. Go to the email lockoutmanpodcast at gmail dot com and give me a suggestion on who you want me to talk to, and not a suggestion on who I already talked to. I mean, I already. As it's four seasons. Give me a suggestion. I'll I'll send them out. A, I'll I'll send them out an email requesting you know requesting to talk to somebody in their media department, their uh, marketing department, or you know or the head recruiter themselves, and uh, and and chop it up with them. You know to get minimum information. But hook me up though. You know what I'm saying. Hook me up with some coffee, man. You know cash out coffee app is is dollar sign lockout me now what i'm not going to do is i'm not going to i'm not going to make you guys okay this this is no shots fired whoops wrong button that's the smoke weed every day button this the button i need i need that button yeah, no shots fired to anybody out here, okay? No shots fired. But what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to I'm not going to ask you guys for no cash app for something that I'm not going to do for you. Say like uh if you want to know why I'm not wearing a, why I'm wearing a mask or something like that. Yeah. That part, that part over there. I mean, you guys, I mean, I, I watch all these YouTubers and all like that. And, you know, they get uh, they get cash apps. They get they, they get, you know, donations for basically doing nothing. Yee. Let me be that type of guy. Uh, can can I be that type of guy? You you guys want me to be that type of guy? I don't know. Uh, Pamela Hilton, long time no see. Uh, haven't seen you in a hot minute. Where you been? Uh, voting more, voting more than just a presidential election. Local voting must take place as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, local voting. Yeah, but they, 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 you know, they talking about the president. So, you know, the, the, they talking about the president. I mean, if people want change, if people want change, they're going to have to, they're going to have to go out and vote, period. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want the man to be in the presidency, then... You know, you you gotta you gotta figure out the the lesser of two evils. You know what I'm saying? Majority, some people don't like Biden, and you guys don't like don't like Trump. If you don't like Trump, then go with Biden. 
I mean, the man, I mean, Biden can't do no more worse than what Trump already has. I'm just saying. The man can't do, the man cannot do no more worse than what Trump already has. But I can tell you one thing about this voting thing. If you guys don't go out and vote, I guarantee you the others will. The others will. Y'all, trust me. Y'all seen, y'all, and y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? And y'all seen it. Y'all seen it. Y'all, y'all should have seen it this year, right? All, it, it, all of them came out of the woodwork. All of them came out of the woodwork. They got memes up with, with, with knee on the back of the person's neck meme. Uh, all of them came out. And them the ones that's going to vote. If you don't, if you don't go and counteract that, Trump going to be in the office for another four years. And then what? You know what I'm saying? Then what? Y'all going to come back out and keep complaining about the shit. I'm just saying. Y'all going to keep complaining about the shit. Uh, and what it, it is what it is if you don't go out and vote. Robbie Hobbies, what's going on? Biden will raise taxes by $3 trillion. Trump is removing income tax. I don't know, man. My my task has been the fucking same <laughs> since I've been working. <laughs> since I've been working, my my task has been the same, bro. I mean, I it was about maybe about fifteen years where I went tax free. You know what I'm saying? But then when I got back into the workforce, my my task. My my tax has been taken out. Like right now, I, I get about three hundred dollars in taxes taken out on me every week. I don't know. I I get a, I I don't see no I I don't see no uh no no stimulus taxes coming my way. Even with the stimulus check. You know what I'm saying? My son, my son, uh, my son said I got it. I don't know. I, I didn't see it. If I did, if I did get it, my son probably got it. We, we, me and my son, we got the same account. So I don't know, man. I don't know. So like I said, if you guys, if you guys want change, if you guys want change, and before y'all got and before you guys get changed, don't forget to hit that like button. That like button is free. But if you guys want change, you 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 got to go out there and vote, man. You got to go out there and vote. You know what I'm saying? Uh my guy uh D Nitty. Super shout out to D Nitty. He be hooking me up with the crazy shit. He sent me this uh, video of classic Facebook is going away. Huh. There we go. I am back. Camera keep going out. I don't understand why. But uh, again, shout out to my man, D Nitty. Uh, he sent me. He sent me this video of a truck driver. <laughs> I'm trying to scroll down. Is that it? Yeah, right here, right here, right here. Hold on. Hold on. He sent me this video of a truck driver uh, or this article. I think it's a video, too. I'm not sure. But. um. Oh, come on now. Oh, OK. It says I got to turn that off. No problem. I'll turn it off. We're going to pause that. And we're going to hit that. All right, there we go. A truck driver 
splits a bridge in half or the truck splits in half after a bridge collapsed in the Missouri River. Photos below. Oh, my God. Semi-trailer, a semi-trailer splits in half after a bridge collapsed in the Missouri River. Semi-driver was attempting to cross the one-lane bridge over the Marines River in Osega County on Monday, according to the Missouri State Highway Patrol. The truck was hauling 4,000 pounds of bird feed, and the weight limit of the bridge was 10,000 pounds. 30 pounds over. What do you guys got to say about that? Let's see if uh see if I can get some pictures up right here. I gotta change that, man. Why why it keeps flipping and flipping? Look at that, man. And tore the bridge up. So you can imagine. You can imagine this young man. <laughs> you can imagine this young man not gonna have a job. <laughs> Not not gonna have a job. I mean, when you guys you, you guys really gotta pay attention out here, you know. Some sometimes, like I said, you know, my Ram and Nally never steered me wrong, but but you gotta be you really gotta have common sense when when you're driving out here, man. You forty thousand pounds. If a bridge say that the weight is ten thousand pounds, don't try to go across it. Don't try to go across it. All right. Don't try to go across it. Uh, David Garcia, I want a professional for a president. You ain't the only one. I I, I agree. I, I want a professional for a president too, man. You know, somebody to get in there and actually do what needs to be done for 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 the states. You know what I'm saying? But when you really think about it, sometimes when you think about it, the president really don't have no control. You know, I, I'm a fan of scandal. <laughs> I'm a fan of scandal, all right? And I seen how Papa Pope was, was doing the damn thing. Do you know what I'm saying? And then how Olivia Pope, when she became command, start doing things that, you know, that that the president didn't have no power over. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Robbie Hobbies, he just signed a bill this month. You will see, my friend. I, I you know, I agree. I, hey, I, I, I got you. I got you. Pamela Hilton, have a night. I mean, have a good evening. All right, Pamela, you take it easy now. Uh, thanks for stopping in. Like I said, I haven't seen you in a while, so thank you. Appreciate it. Robbie Hobby, he, it, he, he, hey, I'm from Cleveland. Just got my CDLs, was trying to get with TMC, but they take forever. Any suggestions on where I should go for flatbed? Um, suggestions man if you really want to do flatbed i i will and and you say that tmc is 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 taking forever try martin melton try <laughs> martin try melton um my man g718 uh he was with he was with them for a little bit uh he was successful with them too so try melton bro um See what they got to offer. Uh, I think um, I think they 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 take you straight out of school. And you from Cleveland? What side of Cleveland you from, bruh? What side of Cleveland you from? David Garcia, not a professional, a professional. <laughs> you must have seen uh, you must have seen the uh, interview with uh, Lashawn today. <laughs> Lashawn Smith, yes, sir. Uh, she's a Professional. <laughs> um, for flatbed, I'm not. I'm not a flatbedder, bro. Um, 
like I said, Melton, uh, Maverick. Definitely check out Maverick. Um, definitely check out Maverick. They got um, they got um, they got a good school over there. You can probably get in there. Um, Melton, like I said, G seven one eight was over there. Um, and yeah, TMC. But you said they, you say TMC is taking too long. So I, that those are those are only three that I that I can suggest. Oh, and Sean two, uh, Sean two o three said Prime got uh got flat beds. So yeah, give give Prime a call. Uh, Rail. Okay, okay, Sean. Okay, Sean. That's what's up with the LOM community. You see how they come in and and help a brother out. You know what I'm saying? Rail. Okay, Rail. That's what's up. That's what's up. Robbie Hobby, West Side Ridge, off of 480. Hell yeah. I got to hold on right quick, bruh. There you go, my bruh. Right over there off of, off of Ridge. I, that's that's what's up. Best Buy. That's my... Man, listen. People don't, people don't know about that area over there. 480. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. That's what's up. David Garcia, I'm a tanker yanker and a dry vanner. Yeah, I you know what my nets to be honest with you, I talked to this company, man. I, I talked to this company that was up in Jersey, and they're a tanker, they're a tanker company. I will definitely be getting that interview out very soon. But uh from what I sat there, I talked to the lady. Hell, I was ready to get I, I was ready to get on with that company, man. But uh, she told me that, you know, they they uh, she told me that they need a few things and all like that. So I will definitely be waiting. But, yeah, my my nets, my nets, my nets go from from uh, from dry van will be tanker and it will be that company. I mean, she I mean, the, the, we we talk for maybe about an hour to an hour and a half just just going back and forth about the company, man. And it's. Man, I I'm hooked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm hooked. So uh shine, run, transport too. Okay, okay. Okay. If you guys want to call me right quick, you know what I'm saying? I'm just sitting here just chilling, waiting on uh waiting on loves to come over here and change my tire. Uh I do got a two hour, I do got a two hour like window. So if they still get me within the two hours, I still got like five hours to get to, uh, get to my, uh, get to my delivery tonight going in in the morning. So definitely holler at me. 216-600-2090. Let me know if you want to call. Uh, I'll show it, Sean. There you go. Uh, TGI King about to get, about to get, wait, about, about getting my CDL. This FedEx, this FedEx shit ain't it. Call me, bruh. I already sent, I already told you. I already told you. Hit me up in the Gmail, lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. I already told you, bruh. Hit me up. We can talk about FedEx. We can talk about FedEx, man. We can talk about it. Come and hit me up. I'm saying, come and hit me up so we can talk about it, bruh. You said you're thinking. So what else is going on out here, man? You guys, uh, you you guys that you guys that's driving, man. What uh, I'll shoot you an email. Definitely, man. Lock out me podcast at gmail.com. We'll get it in, bro. We'll get it in. Um, I was trying to get in another another interview, but. I'm not sure if I want to if I want to get that in. Uh she told me that she 
she's still at the sh- she's still at the shipper. So hopefully, maybe. I doubt it if I get if I get back to driving though. But if you guys have any anybody that y'all want me to talk to, man, your truck is fucked up, bro. If you guys have anybody you want me to talk to as far as uh, interviews goes and all like that, hit me up, man. You know, hit me up in the Gmail. Let me know. Let me know who you uh, guys want me to talk to. I got so much stuff on my mind that I that I really that I really want to talk about, but you know, I'm 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 staying positive. You know what I'm saying? My channel is not about the it's not about the bullshit and it's not about the drama, man. But it's just so much shit that these YouTubers out here be saying that be fucking my head up. Like, really, bro? I mean, some of these YouTubers you just can't like you you just truly can't believe what be coming out of their mouth sometimes. You know. Like I, I, you know, like I, I was the first to, I was the first to do this, and I was the first to do that, and and really, I, how, how, how can you say you the first on anything? I'm just saying. Uh, Paco Boy, what's going on? R. E. Garrison, Reefer. All right, you. Uh, Okay, you just saying that, or or what 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 are, what are you trying to say? What 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 are you trying to tell me, Paco? What are you trying to tell me? Shine two hundred three Abilene Express. Wait, do they they got flatbed too? I think they got flatbed. I think they got flatbed. I don't know. I don't know. Um. Again. Um, again, they, 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 they got the killers of, uh, of JMJ, uh, that's Jam Master J for you guys that don't know, you know, 20 years ago, he was, he was murdered in his, uh, in his studio. Uh, man, they, they finally got two guys. I think one of them is in his thirties and the other dude is in his fifties. They charged with uh, capital murder. Of course, they pleaded not guilty. Uh, the family, <clears throat> the family said that they're not even sure how they feel about the situation now. Twenty years ago, y'all couldn't find them then. Hell, what about Biggie and Tupac's murders? You know what I'm saying? I think they got. Did they get Tupac murderer already? But what about Biggie though? What, what about Biggie? I don't think they found him. Uh, Sean, 203, five months in FedEx. Okay. Well, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. You got it. You, you know, yo, this is your story for, for as long as you've been rocking out with FedEx, man. You know, just tell me your story. That's all. How do you guys like the, like the way I do the interviews now? Um, I mean, I I still I, I'm I'm doing it live to bring you guys in the conversation, you know, the the behind the scenes uh type shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, show behind the scenes on on how I just be sitting down and uh and chilling and all like that. You know what I'm you know what I might have to do? I might have to drop the trailer. Because this fool just parked right next to me. So I know I'm going to have to drop the trailer and probably roll up into the uh, into the bay. Which they still have. They still have a couple of trucks in there. So What I don't want to do, I, I don't want to roll up in the bay, though. You know, I don't I don't want to. I don't want to move my clock because if that's the case, you know, I can, I can do, I can do eight hours and then I'll just get my time back and then I'll just, just get there tomorrow the best way I can. Uh, Teddy Pender, what's going on? You say, I have a question, bro. I'm new in the game in the, I'm new in the game in trucking. My biggest fear is driving is drive. 
my biggest fear in driving is mountain driving. And I'm not really comfortable of, of what I'm doing. What is your input on this? Just asking. I don't have, to be honest with you, uh, Teddy, man, and that's a good question, but um, I, I don't have, and I'm being, I'm being totally honest. I mean, I, 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 I haven't did no mountain driving. I mean, I, I did like, like, well, I don't even consider that a mountain. Uh, you know, I, I consider that a, 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 not a hill, but what you call that shit? Uh, I forget what you call it. It's, it's a, a grade, a grade. I say maybe ten percent, nine percent, maybe, maybe I say maybe about fifteen percent is is probably the most that I did. You know what I'm saying? As far as grades go, um, mountain driving. I I don't think I would be like me personally. I don't think I would be comfortable driving mountains either. You know what I'm saying? You know, up in uh up in Colorado, I know they got some up in the up in the north or uh, up in the northwest is real heavy over there. Um I just talked to uh Kitty the trucker yesterday and she said that uh she went down, I think it's Donner's Peak or something like that. So yeah, she said that was uh that was challenging. Um but if you're not comfortable uh, driving mountains or anything like that, I would probably say don't go with a company that 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 does all 48 states. Because if you do, then you're probably going to have to end up doing some mountain driving. You're probably going to have to go into, go into states that got chains. You probably might have to slap on some chains and all like that. Try not to get with a company that try not to get with a company that you don't have to go through all of that. Like I said, me regional. That's it. I like going home every week. Uh, Sean two hundred three. No benefits because I am because I'm not working for them directly. It's contractors that has contract with FedEx. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I think uh. I think uh what's his name worked it for a contractor that contracted with FedEx Freight. But they still have to do uh they had to oblige by the policies and everything uh for FedEx. Okay, okay. Okay. Still we can still we could we could chop it up, bro. We we can still chop it up, man. Um so yeah, Teddy, I I, I hope that that answered, you know, your question, I guess. Um, but like I said, I to be honest with you, I really can't answer a question that I don't have no experience in. And mountain driving, chains, and all that other shit, I don't, I, I don't have no experience in because I never wanted to, never wanted to go there. Every time when I was with US Express, every time they send me up that way, I would turn it away. Oh well. You have to go. No, I don't have to go nowhere. <laughs> I don't have to go nowhere, you know? So, yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, I'm just sitting here chilling uh, right here at the Loves. Uh, my tire is kind of it's trying to, it's kind of crappy. And uh, needs to be changed. I. I really, I really wish that I didn't, that I didn't go in there and uh, check in because now the company knows that the, the tire needs to be changed. And if I drive on it and get pulled over by DOT, yeah, yeah. See, I could have probably drove. And then if I would have got pulled over by DLT, I could have played it off like, huh, that just happened. Okay, well, I'm on my way to the shop now. Or or pull over to the side and uh wait for wait for uh roadside to come and change the tire. All right, I see. I see a van. I, I see the truck that they was working on roll out. I see the 
I see the guy that I was talking to, too. So I might, I might be cutting you guys off because I might be getting a phone call. I'm just saying. I might be getting a phone call. And that phone call would bring me over into the bay. Oh, man. If it ain't one thing, it's always another. Uh, nope. Wrong call. <laughs> all right. All right. So what's on you guys' mind? That's what I want to know. What's, what's on you guys' mind? We We just having a... We just having a chill conversation. Uh, I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, Teddy, Sean, uh, Robbie, Robbie Hob, Robbie Hob, Robbie's, Robbie's, David Garcia. I appreciate you guys being here with me. Uh, no CDL required. Wait, wait, wait. What'd you just say? Hold on. Sean, question, does these does these count as trucking experience? No CDL required. Oh. Hmm. Huh, Sean. Huh. Are you driving are you driving straight truck? Are you driving are you driving straight truck, bro? Or what do you what are you driving? Is it if if it's a tractor, if it's a tractor trailer that you Yep, there it is. Hold on right quick. Hold on. Hello? Yeah. I'm ready for you to pull into bay one so we can get that uh draft tire replaced. All right, I'm on my way. Okay. I got to drop the trailer, so give me a minute. All righty. All right, y'all, that's, that's, that was them. Uh, Sean, we're going to have to continue this conversation, but uh, yeah, straight trucks. Sometimes I drive box truck, too. Um. I don't think that it's going to be uh, considered experience, being that you it, it's non CDL and and it's a straight truck. But we'll continue this. Uh, we'll continue this, man. S shoot me an email right now. I'm about to get on up. I got to go over here and uh, get this truck in here, and um, and yeah, I'll get back at you guys later. I appreciate it. Robbie Hobb, thanks, boss man. Uh, see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. If you guys want to support me, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell and that all button and hook your brother up with some coffee, man. I'm thirsty. About to get, a, about to get on up out of here. Peace. I've been on the grind like Tony and we 24 deep taking shots like Kobe. Mama told me slow down, she know I'm going in now. I live a rock star lifestyle. Mama told me slow down, she know I'm going in now. I live a rock star lifestyle. Nevertheless, I remain the truth. Got BBS on my chain of boot.